In today's video, we're picking up right where we left off. Gonna scan the seat, put it into the CAD, and design up some seat mounts. My name's Eric, and this is Dirty Elbows Garage. Okay, in the last video, I talked about how this reflectivity or how shiny this seat is, is gonna be a problem. But you can pretty much see my own reflection in it, which just demonstrates how bad that light is gonna bounce off of this seat and scatter everywhere instead of being picked up by the camera. So, instead of just jumping right to my solution, I figured I would get what that process looks like when I'm actually trying to scan. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna record what the camera's picking up as I scan it. I'm gonna do it before and after and kind of show you the difference as I go through it. I'm gonna use the same trick on the threads that I did with the seat mount bolt where I take this guy out, I'm gonna put some masking tape on it, gives me a more clear surface to grab, that way I can get that geometry. Now let's get started on just getting a scan of this as it sits. Okay, so the goal is going to be to capture these four mounting holes. It's important that I stick to the original seat mount geometry. There are some racing regulations that uh, keep me from making custom floor mounts. I'm going to tie these endpoints into the existing geometry or the existing seat mount so that I stay rule compliant and so that I can get the seat as low as possible in the car. So I'm gonna start prepping these bolts. So I don't think last time I caught this on video, but this is basically what I did. I wrapped the bolt in tape, then I take some kind of cutting tool and safely <laughs> remove the tape, cut along one of the threads, and then just pick it out of there. Just like that. Just like, just like, just like that. Just like, just like that. Oh shit. <laughs> just like that. Now, I won't need to catch the top side of the seat at all. This seat's symmetric. This side and this side split the width of the seat. So as I said before, I wanted to center the seat in position with the steering wheel. I'm gonna do that by finding this plane, by finding this plane, and then splitting the difference down the middle. That's gonna become my midpoint. Forward to aft, like I said, I've got that figured out as far as where my foot positioning or leg positioning goes. From there, I'm connecting these bolt holes, these planes, to the ones on the floor that I've already picked up. As long as I make that center line geometry happy, everything else should work out. If you remember from the last video, I took these positioning targets and I put them down on this poster board to basically make them more reusable. Here I'm kind of showing how I'm doing that. Laid one strip that horizontally, one strip vertically, taped down the ends, and then I have a couple of positioning targets exterior to these uh, poster board targets so that I can capture my plane, really define that geometry, and then my bolts or my bolt locations as well. This will also allow me to capture all these features kind of sticking off the chair. So like I said, this first scan, I expect to capture all my targets and my poster board just fine. It's this geometry here, this more shiny 
areas that are exposed that I really need to look for when I when I place this into the CAD for the seat that are going to be harder to pick up. So that's kind of key right now. As well as these planes. These planes are going to be basically invisible unless I get a better way or a way to put texture on there. That's what I'm expecting. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to perform one scan as is, then go and wrap in saran wrap as I mentioned, spray it with some powder spray and do it again. Scan number one, here we go. Just got done wrapping it in the plastic. I wasn't able to get the plastic to cling to the seat as much as I'd like to. So I'm gonna pull this off, just spray the material that's there. So that way when I scan the next time, it'll be a cleaner image. Okay, everything is set up, ready to go. As you can see, I've covered the seat with powder. I re-put the poster board back on, just an FYI. Position targets do not stick to powder. Don't try that. Well, they do stick to powder just fine. It's just the powder will fall off of whatever you hope they would stay on to. So anyways, my bolts are back in. My seat's now covered in powder. The scanner's ready to go. Let's get started. Okay, so now that the scan is done, I exported the scan to STL files, both the uh, seat with powder and the seat without powder. The first one you're seeing right now is the seat without powder. As you can see, those poster boards got picked up really well. Any reflective surface is essentially invisible. It picked up some of the fabric here. You can kind of see some of the pattern in that. This stuff over here was the parts I worked on with, with the initial part of the scan. You can see there's some of my taped uh, feature of my bolt. Unless I was exactly perpendicular to this surface, which I was, to capture it, I couldn't catch any of this. And a lot of this, it's not something that you can guarantee that you're gonna be perpendicular to easily. This is the table, this surface right here that it picked up. That's the table that I had it sitting on. So that's not gonna work for what I need it to. Switching over to the powdered seat, everything came out much more defined. Any area that I sprayed that powder on, you can see it's just really seamless. I actually didn't spray these well, the underside of that, so or the inside of that. So any area that I didn't spray, it, it, it didn't pick up as well. This down here is where I cleared the 
powder out of the way to be able to apply the tape. So you can see that, and that's actually all four ends of the poster board where the tape is applied. This model provides me what I need. I've got my four mounting holes there. I've got my bolt circles. So I'll be able to pull the axes off of that. This is how this seat would be orientated. Uh, you can see just the level of detail that came through once I applied the powder. So now the next step is to pull the geometry I need off of here throw it into my assembly, and then start modeling some parts that are actually going to be the brackets themselves. Okay, here's a combination of the scan from the floor and the scan from the seat put together. Uh, you can see some of the surfaces that were extrapolated from the geometry. From this model, I was able to bridge the geometry between the seat and the car and make the custom brackets. So jumping over to the custom brackets, here are the seat brackets as designed. They connect the seat geometry to the floor geometry. I was able to add some tabs and slots for construction and also some stiffening for lateral support and it's got plenty of uh, longitudinal support. And this is the finished product. That wraps up what we're doing today. In the next video, we're actually gonna show all the fabrication, the cutting, the welding of all the steel and the final seat installation. Give us a like, give us a th uh, thumbs up. Thumbs up and a like, just both. Okay, give us, give us some good feedback and we'll see you next time.